<laughs> Watch me through the screen. <laughs> to the window, to the wall. To the sweat drop down Hans ball. These metachlorians fall. Oh, ski, 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 ski. I'm getting paid. <laughs> getting paid. Star Wars sucks. How's that feel? What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Dweeb Factory. Happy New Year, hope everyone had an awesome holiday. I know I did. Uh, I spent mine doing what I always do, watching a little basketball with the family. Uh, NBA is in full swing right now. My Lakers are god awful. But that's fine because video games exist. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and I can play as the Lakers win 10 championships in a row, as God intended. Now that being said, it's that time again where NBA 2K comes out and blows away any of the competition if there really was any to begin with. Now, this particular rant though isn't really about the best, dare I say, sports game on the market, but it's boldness and it's coveted, sometimes controversial, my story mode. Now, this mode in NBA 2K16 uses that talented direction by Spike Lee himself. Uh, he titled that Living the Dream. You play as Frequency Vibrations. Uh, Freak for short, and it is a dumb name. I'll give you that, no argument here. Uh, but most of the complaints I've heard from Living the Dream isn't good because it's not their dream. By that I mean the player. So being freak means you are from Harlem. You have a twin sister, a misunderstood best friend, and two loving parents whom all are black, no matter what race you put yourself as. Some particular in this year found that version to be unfair or not fair representation of their character as a player. Now the whole point of the mode of the game is to take an NBA hopeful to prospect to Hall of Fame glory, which is still there. You just are playing it out in this more narrative driven game. I do find it funny and slightly irritating that people can still have this feeling in a video game. Now let me take you back, all the way back, December 25th, 1991, Babyface LA who just received a brand new NES system, played a short, poorly Italian man who loved to ride pipe. It's me, Mario. Uh, I bring up Mario because he was my first video game protagonist. At the time I didn't realize, but Ever since then, most video game protagonists I've ever played have all been white guys. And I'm no fool in all of the colors of the wind. I'm a few shades from clear. Hello, I'm Chuck Taylor. Today in the news, bum, stickity bum, stickity bum, ock. I like to rap a pum, 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 pum. With your fifi, your foe, diddly dumb, here I come with a one, two, um, buckle my, um, shoe, yeah. But besides the fact, playing video games has always been an escape from the norm. People complaining that they can't fulfill their dream and live in the dream since you are playing a young black youth from Harlem. Newsflash, <laughs> most people playing that game can't jump higher than three feet in the air. But that doesn't stop you from doing a behind the bag, through the legs, off the backboard dunk, does it? You are living the dream every time you hit that power button. But it did get me thinking on a more grander scale. Makes sense there would be maybe some pushback on this type of story mode style of gaming in a sports game. Now, it's no surprise that some people could argue it doesn't belong in a sports game, pretty much at all, just because the game essentially is about experiences. Uh, and that's important in my opinion, and that exclusive experience is hard to relate to for the most. Now, back to also thinking of the lack of diversity in gaming, it may have also played a hand in this as well. And it's arguable to say that if more ethnic lead characters were in gaming, then maybe we could be more accepting or at least willing to accept a black lead in pretty much any game, sports or otherwise. Now, don't get me wrong, there are great black video game characters. Uh, just to run a couple down for you, there is Sergeant James Heller uh, from Prototype 2. You can't kill me. You can't. Kill me, motherfucker! There is also Augustus Cole from Gears of War. Nobody plays this game like me! Nobody! Cole! <laughs> In the flesh, baby! Uh, one of my personal favorites, CJ from CT, uh, GTA San Andreas. Oh, you think I'm a joke? <laughs> you trying to hit me? Uh, 
Uh, huh. You know what? There really isn't that many. Now sure, supporting roles and other playable characters are great, and some even better than the main characters, but most do fall flat or restricted to cheesy stereotypes, like Saint Row. Saving Gat is a terrible idea. Not knocking Saint Row, I'm sure it's a great game, but it all is parody at the height. Just for the sake of argument, I'm not letting it go, sorry. No excuses. Now I will say there is one developer who I give a round of applause to, which is Telltale. Uh, that company was in production with Skybound. They made the Walking, Day, Walking Dead video game. Now here we meet Lee Everett, who is a masterly voice by Dave Fenoy. Shout out Dave. Uh, he grasped the concept of a black man without having to constantly remind you that you're playing a black man. Wait, you mean Lee is not a real person? He's not, unfortunately, he should be. But you, you talk about I talk about him like he's a real man. I miss Lee every day. Uh, that's partly due because it has an amazing writing, has solid choice-based gameplay, gives you some of the best work I've ever seen handling such issues, and kudos to them for doing it. Now, I guess the deeper issue could be that there isn't enough or maybe push or demand for it. Maybe the developers of these games just don't have enough minorities to help with adding these type of characters. Look. I love video games, I'm always gonna love video games, and no matter if I'm playing a green a a alien agent or some transforming robot, I will always play and, and I do believe things are moving in the right direction. And for one, I really cannot wait to see where things go from here. But let me know what you think. Do you like video games how they are? Would you prefer or at least enjoy seeing more diverse characters in video games? Uh, leave your comments below. Subscribe to Dweeb Factory, please. Hit that subscribe button up at the top. You can find me personally on Instagram or Twitter at LA underscore IZGFC. Once again, it's been a pleasure. Han, say bye. We're out.